Your favorite red or white wine could be closer than you think. Oh, these wines are terrific. Vineyards close enough you could say they're local, growing grapes to make everything from Chardonnay to Cabernet. And as we head into the holidays, we're looking back on some of our favorite and most popular stories. And taking you to epic wine country is one of them. As our Kimberly Gill shows us, you can go there and back in the same day or turn your visit into a weekend getaway. Take a drive over the border into Windsor and head toward the Lake Erie North Shore. You'll leave the city behind and drive toward the Essex Pelee Island Coast, an area known as Epic Wine Country. It's kind of off the beaten path. Lots of people have never been here before and they have no idea that it's right. It's so close. And we have 18 wineries. Oh, Tom O'Brien is the president and founder of Cooper's Hawk Vineyards Winery. He says over the last 50 years, growers have fine-tuned which grapes grow best in their region. A lot of the wines that we produce in Ontario and at Cooper's Hawk Vineyards are similar to the varietals that you can get from Germany, from France. Cabernets, Merlots, Cabernet Francs, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnays, Rieslings, Pinot Noir. He says the region is actually on the same latitude as Northern California and Bordeaux, France, making it a great area for vineyards. Okay. So Charvidio is named after the three grapes that are in it. There's Chardonnay, there's Vidal, and there's Viognier. It's a beautiful, beautiful facility. The wine tasting is great. These friends drove to Cooper's Hawk for their girls' get-together. I'm going to try the Chardonnay. All right, everyone, welcome to Farm Dog Cycles. But others choose to experience wine country by bike. Today we're going to visit uh, three wineries. Megan Belsley and Liam Brennan started Farm Dog Cycles five years ago. We uh, got married in the front yard and all our friends came from out of town and asked if there was somewhere they could rent bikes or do wine tours and there wasn't. So when you tour by bike it's a little bit slower, right? You have more time, you can look around, you can see the road as you're going by it. There's more time to stop and ask questions. So give it a swirl and you really want to see what kind of color it is, just make note of it. One of the stops is Oxley Estate Winery, where we ran into a couple from Royal Oak. Oh, these wines are terrific, especially the white wines. It's Damien and Gilda's fourth trip to this area this year. The weather, the scenery, the people here are so nice. O'Brien says 15% of visitors to Epic Wine Country come from Southeast Michigan and Northwestern Ohio. And this couple thinks more should check it out. Because you can walk through the fields and see where they grew it, talk to the person that grew it, and see how it was grown, know what's in it, what's not in it. It's just awesome. It's about getting people out to relax and enjoy themselves and have a wine experience. Stephen Mitchell is president of Spruce Wood Shores Estate Winery right on Lake Erie. This is a lifestyle experience. When you come to a winery, it's not just about the retail experience of buying wine. We've got paddle boarding going on. Uh, we've also got live music out by the water. People are outside sipping wine, enjoying picnic baskets that you can purchase here, and just enjoying a great day. A number of the wineries now are attaching restaurants to it. We have tours, we have concerts here, we have plays here. Uh, we have a jazz series. We're getting more and more B&Bs around here. There's a few small, quaint hotels. For Damien, its proximity to home makes this wine country just that much more inviting. We were sipping coffee in Royal Oak at 9.30, and now we're riding our bikes here in, in uh, Amherstburg, Kingsville, four hours later. And we're going to head home tonight. <laughs> Cheers again. <laughs> The wineries are open through the holidays, but check the hours before you go. If you want to know more about Epic Wine Country, we've put links on the lifestyle page of ClickOnDetroit.com. I'm Kimberly Gill. Back to you.